let's learn how to add hyperlinks to Illustrator with this neat little hack in the super simple tutorial. Just quickly for reference, this technique will only work if you're exporting a digital web PDF, which we're going to attach the hyperlink to. So let's start with a new document, File, New, and let's go to Web, and I'm just gonna set a standard web large image. Again, you can do anything you like, but remember, this needs to be exported as a digital PDF. So with these default settings, let's click Create. First, let's create the object. I want the user to click to go to the specific link. So I'll just use a simple rectangle. So let's turn off the stroke. Let's create a simple fill color and click and drag out a rectangle on the canvas. And let's select it with selection tool and just center to artboard horizontally and vertically. Next, grab and paste the URL you want the user to click through to. So I'm just going to grab google.com, click in the nav bar and just press command or control C to copy. You need the full HTTPS URL, just an FYI. Once copied, come back into Illustrator, grab your type tool, click anywhere on the canvas and just command or control V to paste in the URL. And remember, you need that HTTPS at the start for this to work. Use your selection tool, select the object or button on the canvas, and let's just right click and make a copy. And then use the selection tool, grab your URL, and we're just going to stretch this over the width and height of the button. I understand this is a little unconventional, but bear with me. Once stretched with the text selected, go to edit and paste in front. And now with the pasted object selected, hold shift, select the text as well, then go to object, clipping mask and make and that puts your text inside a clipping mask the size of the button that you want the user to click. Lastly let's double click to go into the clipping mask, select the text and we're going to bring the opacity down to 0% and then let's click layer 1 and click the arrow to come out and finally when you're ready to export go to file export export for screens so make sure the artboard is selected Set a save location. So I'm going to put mine in my DWD images folder and press choose. Select format and make sure you select PDF and format. I don't have multiple pages, so I can select a single file, but if you do have a multiple page PDF, select multiple files. And once you're happy, click export artboard. So let's put this to the test. Locate where you've saved your PDF file, and I'm going to open mine with Adobe Acrobat. So I'm in the PDF, I've let it load, and if you see, if I scroll down now and hover, you can see there is a hyperlink embedded into the PDF. So if I click, press allow, and there you go. It's opened up a browser, and it's taken me to google.com. So there you have it. There's a quick hyperlink hack you can use in Illustrator. It isn't flawless, and it does require you to export as a digital PDF. This method won't work with other file types. But if you do want a quick workaround and you're working in PDFs, this is something you can easily add into the document. So I really hope you found this helpful. And if you did, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep on designing. And I will see you for the next tutorial.